I'm gonna be selling all these fish here soon. been a little while since you guys seen me post a new video I've been out traveling and doing whatever you know but anyways I'm back now and it's time to get back cracking on the fish room so once I've been gone so long I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little update on everything in the fish room and I'm gonna go ahead and start it off down here in this room with this 125 gallon African cichlid tank that I have down here and I'm pretty much just gonna give you guys a quick little update so I don't know if you guys could tell but I rescaped the tank and I also been trying to catch up on all my maintenance because I was gone for another week after vacation after vacation so I've just been trying to keep up with everything but yeah anyways I want to go ahead and rescape this yesterday when I was doing all the maintenance for this aquarium I think I like it but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because this wood was flipped the other way around I flipped changed some rocks around and everything but I think eventually I'm gonna end up rescaping this tank altogether so Eventually, I'm going to go ahead and get there. So, next thing is... Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you guys some of the fish that I have for sale. I posted this big starry night cichlid. This is a female right here. She's a proven egg layer. I had her with another male, and they bred, and she ended up eating most of the babies. But, anyways, I got her for sale on my band app. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I got the link down in the description below. And there's also... Where is that? Oh yeah, that uh, redfin borley eye right there. But you can see that he's fighting with another fish. You can see he's got a couple of bite marks on the side. But yeah, he's available. I um, also have these two... I don't even know where they're at. I don't even see them right now. But there's two... I think they're regals in here that are fighting non-stop. And they both gave each other a black eye, pretty much. But they're both missing the eye now because they just constantly fight. And I'm eventually just need to get them out of this aquarium because all they do is fight and cause a lot of pain for each other and non-stop violence. So you know how that goes. But all right, moving on to this tank right here. Everybody in this tank's looking really good. As you can see, look at even the little babies back there. You see them? Yeah, the babies are doing really good in this tank. But I also stripped uh, a dragon blood female right there. So I got some more dragon blood fry. And then on this side right here, I got some lion's cove fry. Which these guys are obviously really skittish as you can tell they're just kicking up some of the food that i've dumped in there but yeah bu bunch more babies to come these are also the, the same dragon blood that i bred right there you can see that one orange guy right there in the left hand side but yeah beautiful fish super good quality nothing down in this tank or yeah there is i'm gonna go ahead and sell this star sapphire you can see he's chipping up pretty good but he's definitely a subdominant male in here because these ivory head males are just super super aggressive so i'm gonna go ahead and get him out of here and hopefully i get some breeding activity in this tank once i get him out so he's for sale and don't mind a little bit of poop right there i spent all the time cleaning this tank in the world yesterday just for that stuff to pop right back up so one downfall downside of a, a painted bottom on an aquarium or at least white because it just shows everything but yeah my boy tony's looking real good Tony. You see him and then all these fish right here these guys are all for sale so go ahead and be selling these guys i kind of want to keep the albinos though i'm probably going to keep most of the albinos maybe let a few go here and there but these guys are also posted on my band app these guys are growing pretty fast too and they're outgrowing this tank and as you can see they just constantly dig up the sand so that's why it's always so cloudy in here these guys are just always moving stuff around so but you'll have that with the Munas. And then in this tank, what I posted for sale is my Black Widow Frontosa, which of course he just went and hide or hid. He's right back there. Beautiful fish, super, super beautiful, uh, super healthy too. He's probably three, I'd say at least three inches. Um, I got him on the band app as well. And then I have down in this tank, which you can't even see him right now oh there he is i got that lb and then i have four pictus catfish in here as well that are ready to go 
I just want to clear out this tank for more grow out space because obviously I have a bunch of babies growing out. And then this tank. So I have this tank. I know I was talking about taking this down and making this my all albino tank, which is probably still going to happen very soon. But the difference is, I don't know where I'm going to put these guys now. Because I was planning on moving all them two angelfish. I have the Roman nose tetras, the Julie Duchromis, um, a couple quarry catfish in here um what else is in here the black neon tetras i got them guys as well in here but anyways i was gonna put them guys into this albino aquarium right here but then i ended up getting another aquarium so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this aquarium real fast I'm moving into my garage because this might be an addition to the fish room eventually i'm not sure there's my car i don't really show it on camera too much but i got some some work done on this recently i was going to make a video but it ended up not being convenient enough for me to make a video about it so i didn't but anyways what i was going to show you guys is this aquarium right here i have no so no idea what it is or it's got a true view brand right there i'm guessing that's what brand it is but i have no idea what size or anything about it really i just had a buddy call me and was like hey my grandpa my grandma once these tanks gone that were his grandpa's that sadly passed away but yeah he needed somebody to get rid of him and i was like hey i'd be more than happy to go ahead and take this and then but anyways it needs a good clean and everything and i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it so i don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get this set it up but just a super cool tank you see how these guys are all combined right there i'm pretty sure this is an older tank he said his grandpa had it for like 15 years or some crazy stuff like that so i'm super excited about that and hopefully i can figure it out i did notice that it has like a little scratch on it right there but nothing too too crazy to be concerned about but thinking about going ahead and putting it up out here in the in the garage so yeah i got all this stuff i need to sort out and get figured out especially for winter time because i would i would like to uh, grow a pond out here as well Do it! but you know how that stuff goes hopes and dreams hopes and dreams people but nothing in this tank everybody's looking really good in here i had that little little uh bad luck spree in this aquarium but nothing else has happened in here so everything's turning around doing really well which i'm happy about this guy's being a real jerk in this aquarium but yeah moving on to this tank right here let's see what did i post in this tank oh yeah the platinum azuras i posted them guys um Nothing else really in this aquarium that I posted for sale, so everything else is pretty much a keeper as of right now, but you know, if you're local, you never know what you might get lucky with, so I got the Labadoo Chromos Blue Otters right here. I got a bunch of the uh, babies that are growing out. I need to upgrade these guys here soon. A couple of them are starting to fire up already. As you can see, that one right there, he won't stay still, but they're already starting to get some color in here, so that's crazy. And then down below... I know this is kind of like a one-shot video. Don't mind all the dirtiness in this aquarium. It's kind of just off the grid. But this guy right here, I got this other tank set up or out of the way so you can see him a little better. And sure enough, he still does have that uh, bump on his tail. I haven't figured it out. I don't know how, what I'm going to do for him, but a little more research, and I'm sure I'll get it figured out. I treated him with Melifix, but that isn't working, obviously. You can kind of see it. But super bummed about this guy i'm hoping that i can figure it out and get him back up to health because the faster i can get him in this uh 125 the better because obviously he just fits in here and looks amazing and he's obviously and he's not obviously but he is the biggest ob fry ride that i have so i want to get him back in here he just looked amazing to me he's one of my favorites and then in this tank i also posted this uh Sokolify. i got him posted up for sale so i just want to clear out some tank space and if you guys are local and see anything you like go ahead and send me a message on the band app that'd be great let me know what you guys see i just want to clear out a little more space so i can get some space for the grow outs and stuff i want to focus on breeding i still have my uh my show tanks you could call it but eventually i just want to go ahead and focus more on certain species i want to breed like these bod's eventually this is going to be a bod only aquarium it's 
in the works eventually there'll be just bod's in here but yeah you guys get the idea and yeah i mean that's probably it for today's video i'm gonna be moving some stuff around in future videos coming up and keep you guys up to date with what i got going on in here still looking for females for this guy right here he's an absolute stunner Wow! He to say that he's spoiled because he has his whole 40 breeder to himself down here. The same as that 75 gallon. It's just one OB peacock in there with four pictus catfish. So it's kind of a waste of space. But yeah, whoever gets gets this fish will be a well groomed fish. He has no bite marks or anything like that. Obviously, he's been by himself. So take your guys' advantage right advantage advantage of that right now. So. <clears throat> But yeah, sorry for pretty much a straightforward video. No editing, really. Uh, kind of boring. Just giving you guys a quick little update on how everything is doing. Because it's been a little while. But if you guys want to stay up to date with the fish room and haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you guys get stay up to date with everything going on in the fish room. And probably it for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys stay tuned and see you guys in the next one. Peace.